little bit about photography when I was in the service, and I came back to, you know, after I got out of the service and now the Navy, and went to school at USM, and really didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't have a focus, a thing to do, and I thought I'd pick up, pick up with my hobby, which was photography at the time. I started working for the Journal Tribune back in the early 70s, uh, just covering nights and weekends, uh, kind of filling in, and one thing kind of led to another, and ended up um, working in New Haven, Connecticut for a year, to, and then took a job here at the Press Herald after that. I think you have to have basic compositional skills in your head, and I think that's somewhat ingrained. I mean, you, 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 don't, you, you don't learn that. I think it's part of who you are. Quite honestly, most of my pictures, especially the ones with people in them, is expression. You know, I cover a lot of sports assignments, but uh, I'm not looking so much at the great play as I am the reaction to the great play. I do the basketball tournament almost every year, almost all of it by myself. And it's, you know, at the end, in this, in this championship games or close to the championship games, when the emotion's high with the kids, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the fourth quarter or most of the fourth quarter watching the bench rather than the game. So, it, you know, it, it's, for, it's looking for those kind of moments. In 1995, I, w I hiked the Appalachian Trail for six weeks um, as part of a project with other papers. And, and that was, you know, it was exhausting and it killed me for the first week. But um, in the end, it, it was very rewarding. The last day. As we're going through, you meet individuals along the trail and you, because you're all hiking at generally the same speed, um, you get to know them. And there was one guy who had a handicap. <clears throat> um, Kind of a physical handicap. He'd been, he'd had a problem as a young boy, but um, when we were on the top of Mount Katahdin and then we saw him crest it, you know, that was pretty, pretty cool. That was a pretty emotional day.